kept telling myself if I messed anything up, it could be fixed, except my hardwood floors. That could have been ugly. Today, I'm showing how I chalk painted this fireplace. I turned it into something beautiful again with only one hand. We will see. Supplies. I used one paintbrush, two 100 grit sandpaper, three Bayer chalk paint, four chalk top coat sealant, five mask, six something to stir, and seven something to open the chalk paint with, and finally painter's tape. After gathering all of my supplies, cleaning the area, putting on the mask to protect my lungs. Also, I should have worn protective eyeglasses, but I did not. Shame on me. I began to tape off the fireplace. Big tip, wear comfortable clothes. These pants drove me nuts the entire time. Super uncomfortable, super tight. I had to keep pulling them up. Very uncomfortable. Step two. Break out that sander. I was intimidated to use this sander, but I did figure it out. I sanded a good bit. There were yellow stains and some scratches on this fireplace. It's marble or like a fox marble. I'm not really sure. While sanding, I kind of dropped the sander a time or two, but you could not even tell. But I kept telling myself if I messed anything up, it could be fixed, except my hardwood floors. That could have been ugly. But I made sure to tape around the trim so that the sander did kind of touch it. That part was protective. I couldn't use the sander for too terribly long because it did begin to kind of hurt my arm, the vibrating and such. Next, I was sure to wipe down all the excess debris from sanding and clean the area again with a damp cloth. After that, I opened the paint, stirred it really well because to shake it was a little bit difficult and didn't feel like I shook it enough. Then I began to paint. I painted in strokes all the same direction and was sure to continue in that same direction when I did have to change which way I was painting. I put several coats on, letting each coat dry in between. After that, I applied a coat of the sealant and began to remove the painter's tape. In the past, if I let the painter's tape dry with the tape on, then when I removed it, it would kind of like, like rip the fresh paint. It, if you happen to let it dry on the paint, then you could use a razor blade, perhaps, to try to get the painter's tape off without damaging the fresh paint. Here is the finished product. I am proud of my completed project. I really do like it. Although it has more of a blue tint to it, I should have tested it before I went ahead and purchased the color that I picked, which was. It's funny how light can change the color of paint. Yellow lights, white lights, daylight in your home. If you are procrastinating or, or intimidated on beginning a transformation, you may be surprised at how well it turns out. I sure am. I was able to complete this with one hand. If I get tired of it, I can change it out. I can change out the color again. It was that easy and simple. Next week will be my anniversary. I know it was in the month of July, but I'm not sure of the day that they actually amputated my hand. But I'll be talking about the actual loss of ultimately the whole hand. I'm hoping that I can share it as it really was. I hope you have learned a thing or two today. See you in the next video and until then, be wonderful.